Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back to the Mario Kart Central stream. Uh, if you were here earlier, you saw the match between High Definition and XI. Uh, what we thought was going to be a very close match ended up being a pretty big blowout for uh, XI. So HD won by how many points, Shigai? Do you remember? It's uh, close uh, to 100 it was, points. It was in like the 70s range, pretty oh, sure. Okay, uh, 70 something points. So HD did advance to finals and while that was being casted, Team JBZZ played against uh, Dejulo, uh and it ended up JBZZ winning. So for our final match today, we have Team JBZZ versus High Definition, which is going to be probably one of the most exciting matches of the year. Uh, definitely the top two teams currently in the league, I think, in my opinion. So Shigai, if you want to do the lineups again, you can go ahead and kind of tell everyone who's playing and kind of your thoughts on how this is going to go. All right, so for JBZZ, we have Dam, Lonthi, Play, Power, Pyrax, and Valor. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. And then for High Definition, we have Bryce, Jobo, Rookie, Twonk, Xander, and Zeeb. And on HD side, it's uh, virtually the same thing that we saw uh, from the matches a few minutes ago, besides Twonk subbing in for, I don't exactly remember who, but Twonk didn't play the semifinals match. Okay, oh, so Twonk's Twonk, playing now. I think, yeah, I think it's Twonk in for Chibi. Okay. And uh, JBZZ, uh, it's kind of all firepower. I think that's basically an entire Team France lineup. Oh, wow. That's or, a... or it could be. Right, right. But obviously, you, you have the duo of Power and Pyrex, I would say, is probably <laughs> up there with the best of the best. Right. And then... Damn, right. Lonfi and Play can definitely be a scare, and uh, Power Pyrex Valor were all war this year. Yeah. So Lots of strong players uh, in this room. But uh, the worst starting right now, actually, uh, we see Twisted Mansion as a first track pick. I didn't really see who picked it. Um, um, I didn't catch that either. I think JBZZ but... might be hosting, so maybe... Yeah, uh, yeah Pyrex is hosting. So maybe it was a high-definition pick. But regardless, uh, Xander able to cheese that first shroom and take the shortcut. I think that um, <laughs> was that two. Oh, JBZZ Pyrax got hit by the same green. I think as Xander. I think I think Xander got hit, and then uh, and then it was Pyrax. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, but regardless, HD now in bottom two, but so it's it not going to be unlikely for either Xander or Twonk to hopefully go for the shock. Uh, here I think who's the DK? Is that? don't know. I know Twonk uses Dry Bowser usually, and okay. Dan uses Gold Mario, so those would be two easy ones. I know Pyrex uses Wario. So. Yeah, Pyrex is Wario. DK might be Power, because I know he usually uses uh, Cruisers. Okay. But regardless, HD's now bottom three. Uh, that's not super good. They, I think this is a good track to get the shock on if you're bottom spots, because uh, it's very easy to catch up as well. And I think at this point, HD is going to need a shock in order to yeah, out of bottom three at the moment and it's still it's still early so there's still many opportunities for them to catch up uh but unfortunately it doesn't seem like there's a shock in play at the moment but we see lots of items being thrown in the pack and then hd's bottom three shrooming up into middle pack spots yeah this pack so is think... basically right now, yeah, yeah. So the powers the dk if i saw that correctly okay powers the dk that's good to know so it seems like jbzc kind of swapped places with hd there after getting hit and them shrooming up um, he's okay got to be very careful with the boomerang. Yeah, he's trying to get JBZZ up there without hitting any of his teammates right Xander beside him. It's cut in the middle. Steal, I think he steals Rookie's boomerang. So that's kind of important. She uses a backup, but I'm pretty sure all of the HD was Oh, behind. Xander's driving a bit odd, but he's able to kind of catch up and dodge the green shell there. I think that's a top. He misses Lonfi. That might be top three JBZZ. I think that's a top three JBZZ. So that is a solid yeah. first race for Team JBZZ here. Top 3, um, 7, 9, 12 for them. We'll get the scores for you guys soon, but I think that's uh, a double-digit win for the first race for JBZZ. Yeah, for sure. And the thing about JBZZ is that they're one of the most active teams by far, I think. I think I see them. Uh, yeah, for sure. Like they were, I think, about like four or five times a day. It's kind of ridiculous. So I think that gives them kind of an edge just for their like team synergy and chemistry and just staying active makes them more consistent, I think. So yeah, JBZZ is up by 14 on that first race. Okay, so JBZZ is up 14. Uh, so it looks like uh, they're going for Retro Mario Circuit, which is an interesting choice. Uh, it's a good bagging track, but regardless, we see uh, a very 
standard running track being chosen by JBZZ, and that is Wario Stadium. I think they really like this track. I know Pyrox is just known to be a very, uh, you know, good driver online. Yeah. So he can break away here. And I know lots of JBZZ players are just very uh, fast and have very good lines. So they'll so hopefully take advantage of that here. So I think JBZZ might be all the Mortons, unless Jogo is one. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, so uh, Xander chose Pyrox, which was... Oh no, I think, yeah, Jogo is still a Morton. But he's the Scooty, the other two are JBZZ. He's the Scooty, yeah. So nice. HD able to get that uh, second place JBZZ member out of there. Um, Oh, Jobo can easily red him here, because I don't think Valor... Did Valor get a double box? He did, so he has defense there in first, so he's good for now. He slows down, or did he fall off? I'm not sure if he off. slowed down or fell off. Yeah, uh, Valor fell off, but we okay. still see him coming in a second. Uh, Xander's probably going to shroom up here and give them a top two, but plays a bomb in second, so he might chuck it up here and maybe hit both of them. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous for that red shell that's being held by Jobo, but he he's throws it away. So Jobo's going to get blued, unless Jobo... Yeah. Uh, I think he stopped too oh, late. Oh no! <laughs> Joe was slowed down too late. Yeah, so. that's slightly too late, sadly. But Xander, okay. I need to change the stream. Oh, there's also a bomb, and Xander gets bomb a bomb! <laughs> JBZZ pulling up and yeah. bomb. So top oh, three, like, dude, there's bombs everywhere now, but I think it's tough for JBZZ. And that is such a, like, I see that so much uh, with JBZZ players. They just, like, go for the snipes, like, the risky snipes, even though it might, like, screw them over, and that it sometimes works out for and them like that. I don't know. I think, that, I think that might be an HD shock. Yeah, that was an HD shock. I think I see Zeeb and Ricky dodging. And that is just so good for HD because they've been able to get shocks exactly when they need it the most. And that's just going to, you know, change the war completely. So now HD's coming up with shrooms, easily able to catch up with JBZZ still affected by the shock, and they're probably still small up there. Um, but right now, I think. Yeah, Pyrex is a Wario, so we can't really say that. Um, no, Pyr Pyrus is the seventh behind Xander right now. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so I'm not sure who's in first, then. First, then. I, see, I know that uh, Power's in the back right now at last. Yeah, I think this is looking really bad for Team JBZZ. Uh, they might be able to come up here with their items, but I think HD is going to solidify a winning race here, unless this last turn changes that at all. So what spots do we see here? I think they um, oh. So that is 1, 4, 6, 8, 9, 11 for HD. And that is, I think, a winning race by a marginal amount for high definition. So I think after that race, Team JBZZ is still going to be ahead slightly overall. But we'll get those scores for you very soon. Uh, that was a plus two race for HD. Uh, JBZZ still up at 12. Okay. So it's still a close war. Uh, it's still anyone's game. Um, so we'll see what track pick they go for now. I think HD might go for something like TikTok Clock or maybe SA, um, whatever they're most comfortable with. But either way, JBZZ is going to be able to, you know, hold their own just by driving. So they're going to have to be very tactical about I think, which track they're best at. I think JBZZ is probably going to go DS. Yeah, so we see SA and DS being picked here. And being in 2-3 on SA is actually not that bad because if you can pull a shroom you kind of have a free run yeah the, so the strategy on ds uh what she was mentioning is that if you get a draft uh on that first straightaway and you pull a shroom at the first set what you do is you get your draft and after your draft finishes you use your shroom to break away even more and so you yeah. kind of get out of that like bumping zone and then you can kind of break away by collecting coins in first and it's really good if your teammates are behind you as well because it basically guarantees a breakaway on this track so we see the DS being picked. Damn, yes. switching the... There's, we see a couple Shreedles here. Yeah, and that's another strategy. I'm not really a fan of that, just because it's like too risky and it's kind of... I don't know, not super worth it, because the Shreedle is Sander. a faster combo. Sander on might be team. able to get two drafts here and try... Oh, Zeb trails Pyrax, so that'll open up a pretty big opportunity for HD. As we see Twonk also up here with Zeb and Sander. Yeah, and this is a bad situation for that JBZZ member, because he's essentially a 3v1 right now. But Valor's able to come up and kind of give him some support around here. This pack right now is pretty close. Oh, Xander's going to get that red maybe on power, but he throws it forward to Valor. Yeah, I think he hits him too. Yeah, I think he gets him. So it's a very dispersed pack right now. It's kind of uh, one to one two, almost. Top two. Oh, they're top, top two three. now. Top three. Okay, so this is looking pretty decent for... Um... Oh, he's got a horn. <laughs> I think you want to hold that though. Oh, there's oh, also Fire Sanders. Sanders dodges that somehow. 
dodging that by the skin of his teeth, but... Oh, how did he dodge the red? What? Okay, I'm gonna need a replay on that after this, because <laughs> that was... Very, very fortunate for Xander. But, like... JBC's oh, this is oh, not yeah. a good situation for Xander, because JBZ is still top three, I yeah, think. I think. Yeah, so there's a blue coming in for JBZ, but if Dan still has that horn, he can break it. Uh, but if he doesn't, it passes him. So that's gonna be, I think, Baylor getting blue. Uh, yeah, right, no. he's he's able to dodge it with a sh Oh, I think he slowed down for his teammate to dodge it with a shroom. So yeah. the blue isn't affected by JBZZ. I think Xander's only- And Pyrex top gets top the bomb! <laughs> oh my goodness. Jeez, I, think, I think that's top five JBZZ. Oh, but Rookie's coming up with a golden, so he might be able to stop the blue. But there's not many places to catch up that much with items for the rest there, of the track. Jobo's Job really gonna need to whip up the shock now. Yeah, we're gonna need a shock. A box either. There's and a the bomb! bomb. He backs a bomb! Oh, JBZZ <laughs> just gone in top four. This is just HD getting slapped right now. Not much they can do. It doesn't seem like there's a shot coming up. Oh, and there's another blue, but I think that was being held by JBZZ. Yeah, they'll pass the line. Um, yeah, so JBZZ just absolutely killing it this time. You know, being so aggressive with their bombs, and it just pays off for them so well. And Standard they had great lap. teamwork uh, midway through lap three, able to dodge Top the blue. Top four for JBZZ. Wow. So for seven, nine. So that'll give them a pretty decent lead. So it was a close score, and now it's turning into kind of a bigger gap. Uh, kind of like last war. So I'll but... put them up by 42 overall. Alright, uh, my call dropped for a second. So... I was wondering where you went. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, plus 42 for JBZZ after three races, so they're in a pretty decent spot right now. Even a top six from HD wouldn't really, um, damage them. Like, I'd obviously hurt them a bit, but they'd still have a lead. Yeah, but it's not big enough for it to, uh, you know, kind of make any conclusions yet. Uh, but JBZZ does get their track pick, which is gonna help them out, I think. Because Hyrule is known to be one of the more um, preferred running tracks for Clan Wars. For sure, <clears> but <throat> with top four, they might be bumping each other a bit. Yeah, I'm not sure how much I like Hyrule for mostly like top four, top five spots, but if they like it, then it's their, their choice. So lots of bumps and drafts, as you kind of expect in this track. Xander gets bumped into the off-road. I saw long people assuring so we could probably be able to get run. He almost gets stacked by that green, though. Yeah, that was very close. <laughs> HD bottom three right now, but, like, literally the start of lap one. I see, I think that was Baylor stopping to get a uh, double. Yep. So I think in the front is that gold Mario. That's still JBZZ. Um, yeah. The Morton, I think, is still. Oh, this pack JBZZ. is pretty close right now. I think Xander could probably pull into like fifth or so after using these. Pack shows. is close, and I think, you know, something like a blue shell can come at any second. So. Bryce with those triple manas, but I think, yeah, Ooh. that's still JBZ top four. And power with this red will probably hold Xander back. That's kind there. of a good setup, uh, having a red shell. Oh, that's actually Jobo in second. So, there's at least a tad of HD up here. That's good. That's going to be hard for Joba to kind of um, avoid all of JBZZ's counters and top spots. Uh, doing a lot oh, we just see a lots of items just. And be... those Nanas hit power and um, Joba. Yeah. yeah, that kind of just like wrecked those middle spots there. JBZZ still holding that top two, getting rid of through the shortcut. Okay, that, that was a smart play on Xander's end. Yeah, uh, so that was very nice, but Pyrex still Lonfie, able to trim yeah, up. Lonfie just replaces, I mean, Pyrex just replaces uh, right. Lonfie right now. Xander's oh, gonna probably try and snipe. Barely misses that. There's also a bomb. I don't know who that hit exactly. But it definitely connected with that. I think at least two. But I think this is still looking for a really good race for JBZ. And there was nothing that Xander could do there. You can't really avoid that green shell when he drifts right into you like that. So that is GG for Xander, unfortunately, this race. Um, I think, three. is that JBZZ in last, I think, right? Because there was the Morton Wiggler. Sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, JBZZ no, is still around last. top two at least. Top three for JBZZ, and then they get top seventh, three, ninth, seven, and twelfth. Well, okay. 
So that'll be a plus 14 race for JBZZ. And after a GP1, they have a 56 point uh, lead. So they're looking pretty good right now. I think HG is really going to need to change up the game plan though. So yeah, they're going to go with the cheese lamp pick. Yeah, hopefully high definition gets a track pick here um, to give them the opportunity to catch up. Since I mean, uh, JBZZ's gotten the past two track picks, wasn't it? Uh, pretty sure, yeah. But uh, it's going to be cheese, so that'll help out HD. Yeah, it's still a mark. dice roll because it's cheese land, but yeah, good opportunity for HD. So we're probably going to see the typical bagging of pretty much three-fourths of the room here with only a couple of people deciding to run from JPZZ. I, uh, I mean, Harris is going to connect with Xander with those nanos. But it doesn't matter too much. He's not really going to do anything. I think we see I think two from both teams running. Not many that people bagging. Yeah, it's only yeah like, that's kind of surprising, actually. actually. Like oh no, everyone stopped before yeah. the second set, yeah. <laughs> um, these kind of spooky nanos for the glider. Yep. Um, it's kind of hard to tell who's who by the characters now, just because both teams are using similar characters. But uh... I'm coming in. Xander gets a bill as well, so you might try and save these for lap maybe three, or just pull lap three for the now. shortcut or yeah, just for a shock. Lap three. Although I think, well, is that HD in last? Because then they might have something. Uh, I, I mean, think... it is a Wario, but that could also be JBZZ. It could be. I'm not quite sure. Um, I think got hit off at the glider. So the guy in last used the bullet bill, but I haven't really seen him use much else after that. But he used another oh, bill, so I don't shock. think. Oh, there was a shock. And yeah, it that wasn't... was JBZZ shock. Um... Yeah. So I think what they did is they might have chained that set in the middle there or something. Like... Yeah, I think Rookie also died. It was pretty unpredictable, I would say. And that's like the best way to do it on this track is use unpredictable shocks. Otherwise, most people in the room dodge around uh, the beginning of lap three. Xander might be able to salvage yeah. something, yeah. Because yeah, I see a ton of. Although, that is Twonk in second. That might be HG in first as well. This could be top three, but no, Rookie gets hit. So okay. it's definitely 2 3 for HG. We'll see who pops up in first now. That. I... I think that is HD at first. No, it's Pyrax, so... Yep, Pyrax getting first. Twonk, okay. I think it's fifth, but that's still second for HD. And Dan gets 11, so there's some... People. Yeah, bottom two, JBZZ. Um, two, three for HD. Uh, HD. It, that might be a winning race, but I don't think it's going to be enough to uh, kind of come back from <laughs> JBZZ's yeah. amazing races from the HG first four eight, races. Nine, nine, so... I doubt that's winning. It was just unfortunate that HD wasn't able to get a shock there in order to uh, dodge and catch up and get a decent race. But it, even though JBZZ got the shock, HD was able to not, you know, completely die from it. So good job to them. So it seems like HD's going for Moo Moo. <laughs> I'm not really I mean, sure the strategy behind that track. Maybe it's good I for drafting or something. I think, I think they just like it overall. They just I like it. The semifinals as well. Yep, and uh, JBZZ picking Donkey Kong Jungle, which I guess is um, a good running track for some people. Although the bumps can be really brutal on this track. So. But I think if HD can choose the red in second, they might be able to do something. But they also have to be careful and not bump each other. So right, they right. screw over themselves. All right, so Pyrex is starting in first, but two HD members are right he gets behind him. The yeah, Pyrex got bumped very quickly, um, but I think he's coming back up. If he, if uh, HD members got reds there first, that Pyrex kind of would have been. Xander survives. Done. First, I think Lompy is just in second, so he'll probably take the cut here. He definitely yeah. will, yeah. So I think that's two three for HD though. 
if I saw that correctly. Uh, misses with the Nana, Long Feast. Ooh, that was kind of a, I don't know, not the best attempt for a banana, but he's able to get oh. the double box after. Coin or red, that's not really that common. And yeah, that isn't very common. Uh, he's going to be able to hold off the guy in third, though, at least with I us see for a little bit. HP behind Xander, though. I don't I see. He's just lagging or anything else. Oh, double I think red. He's going to try. Right. Yeah, he's got double red, and I think this guy in first is trying to uh, slow down a bit to get him, but I don't think he's going to back it just because he sees that he's I think Longfeet, red. No, he gets him and pulls the shoe in first. Okay, so, that's like yeah, best case scenario so there. Is that power or Twan right behind them? I think they're like neck and neck at the moment, so we're gonna have to wait to see who salvages second place currently. Our top three HD, so I guess power got hit out. Yeah, power just got hit on the main map. This is looking pretty good for HD right now if they hold this up without a shocker or a blue uh, during the last oh, lap. The blue won't even affect them because of the Sherman first. This could be the uh, race they needed to make this a close game again. Uh, yeah, for sure. But yeah, I mean, booze always exist, so that kind of ruined the first place Sherman here. Yeah. I think he should just hold it to play it safe, though, just in case there's a blue shell. Yeah, he doesn't take the shortcut. That's the best thing to do currently. Yeah, HD's oh, just running oh, right now. Yeah. Not much going on. Uh, I oh, see... there's a blue, so it ought to be in the air. Oh, you can Especially dodge it in the air. That's yeah, fine. It's, it's, it's a bit harder, though. I would say, yeah, gets it pretty clean. Yep. So That's, yeah. that's good. Although all of JBZ is in the dodge right now, I guess they yeah. don't have it though. <laughs> I feel like bottom six is like all in stars and bells. That's yeah. crazy. So right. yeah, definitely top three HD. That might even be top four for them. But we'll see as the results come in. Top five, ten. Oh my goodness, that is <laughs> exactly wow. what high definition needed to come back. That is awesome. That was great teamwork from high definition. They were able to get out of that pack and uh, avoid all of JBZ's attacks and uh they're yes, able yeah. to salvage a top five so that's a closer game now what's the score do you know um jbz is up by 22 after the half this is still a close game guys very that close one, <laughs> that one race basically <laughs> butchered their entire lead that's the thing about this game is it can go back and forth so easily with uh big races from either team so now we see uh jbzz picking a uh, bagging track desert and then HD picking Music Park, which is a decent running track online. And I know it's RMP is kind of their go-to track when they're in spots. So besides Ribbon. But if it's Dry Dry, it's going to be pretty unfortunate for HD. But they're pretty good with shocks. Both teams are really good with shocks here. So it's a matter of who gets it. But it's going to pick RMP. So this would definitely benefit HD a good amount. Yeah, for sure. Getting track picks at this point is so crucial for them to come back. All right, I think you can get uh, a lot of drafts here around this turn. So hopefully them being in top five, they can draft yeah. each other up there and get a decent lead at least. Center opts to go for a box, which, I mean, I guess it paid off because he got a coin, but sometimes it's not really worth it. Well, there's no point in him not using the coin just because all of his teammates yeah. are by oh, him. Oh, but Pyrex in second. Yeah, Pyrex yeah. already is up here. That's crazy. <laughs> he misses the double. That's kind of disadvantage going for the key trail. Oh, but he still gets um, defense, which is nice. Alright, also snags the glider, and he's set up pretty well with six coins. But that's yeah. I think that's 2-3 for JBZZ. Ooh, that was a pretty clean shortcut by Xander. Yeah, so Xander, I would say it's like a second lead. Tries to back, but doesn't connect. Yeah, that was kind of uh, too far oh, to the, the horn. Horn. So... <laughs> well, yeah, as long as there uh, are no red shells, this should be pretty good. Although with Dan so, behind him right in second. Xander. Really guaranteed. Oh, oh, yeah, so there's the red, double reds. He chooses to get hit by them, I guess. That might actually oh, okay. be... Yeah. That was kind of smart, actually. That's uh, well done and by it, Xander. And that's Bryce uh, going to second, so they have a top two. Like, 95% of the people probably would have just used that to dodge the red shell, but he thought two steps ahead, and that really paid off for his team. So I think HD so, is top two. Yeah, and HD is top two. Top, top three. Um, there's also a blue coming in, so 
maybe a bit of regret from the horn usage, but it paid off. Yeah, I mean, yeah the top four, I see Twonk in fourth. Great. So, yeah, Hopefully his team doesn't hit the blue. Uh, I think they're pretty decent. Yeah, they're pretty decently far ahead to where that blue doesn't, doesn't isn't going to do yeah, so too much. Yeah, so top five for HD right now. GBC is really going to need a shock for green. So These yeah, are pretty, pretty good items from Xander for yeah. his spot just to kind I think of... Twonk snuck in the fourth. Oh, they're top four now, yeah. Yeah, they have like right. a one second lead from four. Wow, this could be another great race for high definition. Oh, but there's a shock. But there's I a shock. That's an I think it might have been too that's late. Easy shock. Yeah, Lonfi dodges, but that's still top It was top too late. It's still top three. Or top, no, top, top, top two, four. Two, four. Oh my gosh, that is another great race, I think. Yeah, J or HD getting top two, four, seven, nine, eleven. I think that's like at least a plus ten race. That's definitely more than a plus. Uh, yeah, that's probably a plus like in between plus ten and plus twenty. Three. Five, so that's gonna be okay. Uh, so JBZ still has the lead by eight, but that's a plus fourteen race for HD. Yeah, so from having a 56-point lead, we see High Definition get a couple of amazing races and have it only be an 8-point lead. <laughs> so just like that, the, the game is turning around pretty quickly, which is always fun to watch. Right, so Xander wants to apologize to the stream for the back rate on lap 2. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah. No. yeah, it was it was a good try at least, I think. <laughs> But yeah, HD slowly making a comeback. Well, actually, not slowly, pretty quickly. But Dryger is gonna get picked here. Yes. So another dice roll here in this finals match. We'll see if uh, either HD or JBZZ gets the shock here. It's a great track to get it on. Um, running isn't really amazing here, but I've seen it done before. <laughs> Yep, we see Xander stopping at the first set just to get decent items at first. Back in. Oh, Pyrus is gonna stop as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, everything's going on right now. Xander's gonna get his money back here too, I'm assuming. I see, I think, three JBZZ in the front. Uh, I think you're right, yep. HD yeah, bottom but... three. I'm not sure why JBZZ isn't countering more in the back uh, to hopefully maybe get a shock. I think, I think they're team. just relying on no shock. But it's dry, mm -hmm. dry. That's unlikely. That's true. Although, yeah, I saw the power back here. Oh, he doesn't get the double box, unfortunately, well, but he gets blue, the blue though, shell. So we'll see who's in first in a bit. I'm guessing it's uh, HD, though. I'm pretty sure that's Jobo, considering that he hasn't just thrown it by now. Nope. Oh, never mind. I think it's JBZZ. Oh, but I think Jobo stopped, so Jobo was in first. Oh, interesting. So the guy in first doesn't dodge it. Okay, I thought he might have shrooms. No shock right now. It seems. Yeah, I don't think there's a shock right now. Yep. I know they usually like to use the shock early lap three or late lap two. So if right. they were to use it, it'd probably be around now. Oh yep. no! He misses the chain though. He that the chain. kind of that kind of ruins it because now he's not going to have anything to use uh, to take the shortcut in the middle That's of lap true. three. Oh, uh, that's power with a pretty decent lead in first. And he no might have changed, yeah. or no, he doesn't have well, that. I saw Z with a star in fourth, so he can still do something for sure. That's true. Uh, Xander throwing the red, maybe getting contact with him. Oh, it hits the pokey. <laughs> Breaks the pokey, of course. I think Z might have hit Jobo. Yeah, okay, that's a, a lot of, there's, there's a lot that's of a weird there. place to get it's a star. Uh, it's just because of power. Z. Power used to boo in first, what? All so right, I guess. I guess yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think HC still might pull away with this race, though, if he doesn't hit Jobo. Actually, no. I think that's top no. Two yeah, top two for JBZZ at least. Uh, not sure what HD got back there. It's a bottom three. Bottom three. Yeah, yeah that's, that's not a great that's race for them. Good race for JBZZ though. Um, there was a shock. That was. HD shock, but Xander didn't get the chain. Otherwise, he would have pretty much had like almost a guaranteed first or second place. But sadly, that doesn't happen. And Power is able to dodge and hold up the boo. And get a Sherman first. Yeah. 
So now JBZZ yet? JBZZ is up by 24 points. Oh uh, yeah, with one GP left and plus 24 going to one GP, it's definitely not safe at all. So HD can still definitely pull this out of the bag. Uh, yep, for sure. So yeah, HD gonna go with a ribbon, which is kind of, I would say, one of their signature tracks because no other team really picks it and they're really good at it. But if it's picks in Mount Warrior, which it's gonna do, definitely not <laughs> ideal for them. But I mean, in the previous where we saw, uh, I'm losing my words here, we saw XI come back on a HD pick of the MW and got a pretty good race of it, so maybe they'll do the same here. All right, and it's the ninth race. So starting of the final GP. Oh, and JBZZ was top two, correct? Yeah, they got top two, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So yeah, everyone's just kind of clustered together right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's my least favorite part about Mount Wario is the beginning. It's just horrible. Getting bumped everywhere and the drafts and stuff. Sandroff stick the coins, boy, and he might get a double as well. Yeah. I see a horn being used, which hits two of HD pretty sure. I saw Twonk get hit. Right, so, I think JBZ is still... Yeah, yeah, it's up there in first. That actually might be top four for them. Um, but yeah, they definitely won four right now. I'm not so sure about the two, three spots. <clears throat> That's a gold Mario, right? If so, uh, the gold Mario is uh, JBZZ. Yeah, yeah, that's JBZZ. Pyrax oh, gets oh, back. The green by Pyrax is pretty decent. Uh, Xander yeah, so able to that, that, that was top for JBZ, but it's only top two now. Oh, with triple reds in third, and there's a blue coming in. So Xander uh, can yeah. really do some work right now. HD oh, but Play, play some... horns it. And his reds get stolen. That's actually really unfortunate. That's actually probably <laughs> the worst thing that could have happened for HD there. They got to dodge the blue, and his triple All reds right. got stolen. He hits damn at least. But he's gonna Very get lucky. Again. And there's still more reds coming for him. But yeah. I think nicely dodging all those reds. Breaks the red on the wall, but I think he's still gonna oh, get Oh no, red. yeah, he might get start here too. Uh, he has one red left, JBZ, Z, uh, still has top three. Fire, though. Oh, but that bomb might destroy it. And yeah, uh, the bomb won't hit him necessarily. Oh, now it might. Um, there's a shock, though. That was an AC shock. H I think I saw three of AC dodge. Oh my goodness, so, Twonk just coming up here, uh, getting it's third still gonna place. going to be a top two JBZZ, but that definitely saved the race. They got fifth, fourth, and third. Yeah, so three, four, five, eight, nine last. So that could have been much worse for high definition. The shock pretty much saved what could have been yeah. a game changing race. It was a plus eight race for JBZZ. Um. So that puts him up with uh, 32, with three races left. Yep, so, it's still possible, that's for sure. Yeah. We so saw HD, HD uh, come back by like 40 or so points early on in the war in like three or two races, so... No, no that was XI, not too easy. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, but it definitely is still a possibility for HD to win. So a bit of confusion going on in JBZZ about what's a pick, and HG's is gonna go with their... Ribbon Road. <laughs> See, uh, Baylor, um, with the MVP right now. We haven't really talked much about him this entire war. Oh yeah, he's been playing yeah. decently, to say the least. Uh, so NBC's getting picked. I wouldn't say this is... You don't really see the shock like do too much unless it's used like after your last set. Oh, in this track? Yeah. Uh, I think it's isn't it decent around those like U-turn areas too? Uh, 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 it depends. Like if you dodge on a star in the U-turn, it's kind of not the best situation. But if you get a bullet bill around there and dodge, it's pretty broken, I think. So we see a couple of JBZ, but Xander's gonna catch the strat and try and sneak in the first, and does get the double, so it might be able to. Go try and hit some of them, but gets trailed by Pyrax. Yeah, there was it was kind of hard for Zandy to get out of there because he was surrounded by JBZZ around there. But um... right, power though, and... Uh, yeah, so we see power in last. I think that's top two JBZZ right now. Was yeah, it, it's uh, still top uh, two JBZZ. Uh, was that Ricky's red? Uh, it 
Might have been, actually. Maybe there was just some miscommunication there, unfortunately. Yeah, this fact is still, like, decently close, I would say. Like, it, it definitely won't be impossible to catch up, but... That's true, but I don't really see JBZZ getting out of first unless there's a blue shell or a shock. <laughs> Joe gets a 11 face boomerang. Yeah, that's kind of nice to have back here, <laughs> I, I guess. There's a lot of HC back here. They're going to need to probably rely on the shock if they get it. Oh, Xander kind of uh, trying to start him there, but he gets a little bit too greedy, and I think, uh, I think that ruins his line. Red. And his teammates as well, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good reaction as well. Uh, not getting started there. But I There's think... three warriors, so that means at least one of HD is up here. Yeah, so rookie's in third. And Golden gets stolen, though. Oh, 2 3 4 for HD. Okay, maybe this is a lot better for Golden than we originally thought. Yeah, but Pyrex is so far ahead at the moment. Um... I mean, yeah, so 2 3 4 5. The plan is not what you want right now and for sure i think he yeah so jobo gets hit by this uh power star there wasn't much sander could do there to avoid that sadly because of his shrooms um and the plant's so, kind of unlucky here i think pyrus is just gonna hold down the first yeah so jbz is holding blue right and with the greens he might be able to hit lanfi oh but there's also a shock and that was jbz's shock pretty sure but xander still holds on the fifth so that was a very uh, solid race for JBZZ. They were able to get the blue shell, and I think that was their shock. So they pulled both of the most important items, arguably, to uh, be able to win a race. So that's a plus two race for JBZZ. So it actually wasn't that bad for HG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, a 34 point deficit in two races it's definitely not impossible that you're going to need a really good race and she's going to slip between ribbon and rmc right now Right, so it looks like it's going for JBZZ. Yeah, yeah Sunshine Airport. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, HG got 2-3, so if one of them can get a Shroom, they might be able to sneak into first. And yeah, that's the best that. way to catch up on this track, is getting a Shroom first set and taking that initial shortcut through the grass. I think Power is probably in the best situation right now to pull a Shroom and just kind of run away with it. So it makes Yeah, that's a possibility for sure. All right, so Xander able to pull off that third place shroom. Uh, if I trail Pyrex too, that'd actually be huge. Oh, I don't think it's gonna happen there, yeah, but, but- Xander is like a one second breakaway, and Twonk uh, right behind him, so. Yeah, HD top holding three. that solid top two. Uh, and I think I see two Warriors back there. Not sure who is who. I think Pyrex is still in the middle. There's greens coming up. That might have hit Twonk. Oh, Xander able to barely miss those. That's such an easy place to get green shelled. Zeb coming up in second. I'm not sure what happened to Twonk. Uh, I think Twonk got bombed or green. Okay, so Twonk got knocked out. I think oh, uh, Xander's going to get blued now. And Valor's up there in second. He might be able to back a green here, though. Doesn't connect with it? No. But there's still a ton of HD up here. Which is really what they need. Yeah, unfortunately... Race. HD is getting kind of unlucky with the uh, blue shells <laughs> past few races. Uh, I think it's one, three, four, five for them though. Yeah, they're still doing decently, decently. So Dan Xander's gonna stop for a box. Uh, this should kind of drop for me. I don't know about you. Uh, it's still fine for me. I think you can just try to refresh it. Um. Yeah, I'll do that now. Yep. Uh, it seems like it's kind of an even pack right now. Um, the Roy in first, I think, is Z, isn't it? Uh, should be. 10-11 for HD. And Pyrex, I think that's him in second, or it might be Rookie. I think Pyrex is in last the last time I checked. Yeah, so it might be a decent spot yeah, right I now for HD. Yeah, I think that's going for Shock. Really if they get it, then it's going to be oh. very powerful. <laughs> but I don't think they're oh, going to be able to get it. Jello. 
Oh, never mind. Jobo got a box. Yo, this this fire actually might be really good, but it doesn't connect. Oh, I think he it hits only hits Jobo, Jobo out of it. yeah. And he and Xander gets caught on the wall. Oh no, that's it's a worst that. case scenario for Xander there. Oh, but top two. Okay, that's top still two. a really good race for high definition. A top two, four, five. Um, okay, so that could be decent. I think that might have been at least a plus 15 or so. Okay, so <laughs> plus 22 race for HD. What is it? Plus 22 for H plus uh, HD. HD no. is only down by 12 I points suppose. with one race to go. This could go either way. They're going to need a really good race, though. Oh, my goodness. Really hope yeah. that fire and Xander hitting the wall doesn't make HD lose the war. But we'll <laughs> <laughs> only time will tell. <laughs> Just kidding. A tie would actually be crazy as well. I think it would. Yeah, be and if we get a tie, then we have to witness another four races for a tiebreaker. But only time will tell with that as well. I think HD's. Yep, they got their ribbon pick, so they're probably oh, feeling pretty hyped up right now. They're very hyped right now. This is. Such an exciting match. HD getting their last final track pick. Hopefully, um, they're able to do what they're planning to do, uh, whatever it is, staying up there. Uh, hopefully, JBZZ doesn't get more blue shells on top of what they've already been getting. I know the shock on this track can actually be pretty good as well. Yeah, so. I think getting target shocked in the glider is pretty decent here, too. Although, it's also insanely good for front running, but there's a decent amount of shortcuts, so. Yeah, it's like that's true. Back, it's game over. Although I did see, I think, three people get hit by the same green shield. I was going to say what happened at the beginning <laughs> there. Everyone's getting hit, but everyone's shrimming up now. Um, Xander opting not to chain. Kind of strange, but he's two shrooms now. He gets bumped off at cut, I though. think that Roy is Zeebin first. Yeah, that, that, that is Zeebin first. I think it's JBZZ in second, though, because Rookie got knocked out pretty early on. So that would be 1 for 5, which I think might be enough. It trails. Okay, so oh nice, he trails him through the shortcut. Is, this the, is that top four for HD? Because it Xander gets yeah, because it's Twonk and uh, Zeb in one three at least. I guess uh, that's rookie and last trying to get the shock just to make sure. Yeah, he's definitely taking one for the team there because getting yeah, the so, shock yeah, is so crucial for a winning race right here. And JBZZ is kind of back here right now. This is not looking super good for them, and HD just seems to be breaking away up there in top three. Wait, I think Zeb. Is that lag? No, okay, I thought he fell off on the mini map. There's a blue though lag. coming for uh, HD. Xander oh. with this bill could actually do something though. Right. Gonna chain the star there, that makes sense. I think Zeb dodged the blue shell because he's still way up there. Yeah, the I think Zeb out of stream or something. Xander using the bill now, which will probably. Oh, Rookie's in a bill as well. Yeah, Is they're that... coming up. I think that's, that's an top HD five. top 5. Yeah, he has to make sure that he doesn't hit Rookie here. And Rookie yeah, has a. Top five. He's using a golden. HD is. All up here. Only chance JBZZ has right now is getting a shock, but I'm not sure that's going to happen because they were all just in Dodgers back there. Just HD needs to just not fall off right now. They just need Only to drive normally. Here. They've got to be so nervous right now. Xander barely holding on there. I thought he was going to fall off. The blue is coming. I don't think it's going to matter that much. I think yeah, he's going okay. to get blue in the oh, line. Here. Xander takes over the first, and I'm pretty sure... But that's a top 3 HD. I think that's enough to get plus 12. I, I think... see Twonk in the back. That's definitely way more than enough to get plus... Yeah. That is an HD win. That HD comes three. back, completely upsets JBZZ <laughs> from a plus 56 after three races. HD is the winner. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. That, yeah. what a <laughs> match. Oh my <laughs> goodness gracious. There's really not much of a better ending than you can ask. That deserves that. a pog champ. Yeah. <laughs> I can't type. Oh my goodness gracious. HD takes the victory. What's the final score? Do we have it? It's final score is five eight four. I mean four eight four JBZZ to five hundred HD. So a plus sixteen. HD ends up winning by sixteen. HD was not winning that entire war. I think they were down. Yeah, they only won the last series. They were HD was down the entire war, and they took it back at the very end. That is great match, everyone. We might be doing an interview here. Yeah, that'd be so awesome if we can get uh, an interview here from one of the HD members to kind of talk about what was going on there and how they were feeling.
uh, towards the end. Yeah, we're going to be asking them here in the server. Uh, we're going to be asking a rookie to get an interview here. All right, so he'll be joining in a minute. What a great match. Oh my goodness. Regardless of JBZZ getting countless blue shells those last few races, HD was able to pull off the, the win. Yeah, that was definitely not the ending I was expecting, to say the least. Yeah, me either. It's kind of the dream ending that you want, though. Yeah, for sure. It makes the match <laughs> a lot of fun to watch. So we're just putting on Ricky to join the call. Yeah, I was not expecting that in the slightest. What a great way to end the race. I just can't imagine what was going through HD's mind there. I guess they were just like praying for, you know, no shock or blue shells towards the end and not yeah. falling off on those last turns. I guess it's more of like when in doubt, go Ribbon Road. Yeah, exactly. And I, Xander got pretty close to falling off that last shortcut. He was kind of like a bit wobbly there, but able to stay on, on track. So waiting on someone from HD to hop in. Yeah, and I'm very hungry now. Casting is a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to have a sore throat after this. <laughs> oh no. Good thing you have your cough drops. Yeah, and that's uh, that's the end of the tournament, right? So HD yeah, high definition wins the entire tournament. It's going to be so game. interesting to see uh, the MKU season next season and how that plays out. Yeah, I think a lot of teams, especially in D1, have kind of shifted in power, so we might see, and with no SVC or Z this season, there's yeah, definitely exactly. a new winner. Uh, I know a couple of teams in the past have come close to winning D1, but it's always been SVC or Z. But I think HD is slowly asserting their dominance. Yeah, Overall. exactly. And this is random, but that was an interesting point distribution as well. Like, most of the room got very yeah, similar points. MVP was only 93. You don't see that very often, that's for sure. Hey, All uh, right, so we got Ricky hey, what's up? in the call I think now. I, I think I have a few people who are joined the general call in a second. All right. Okay. That needs to be moved. All right, yeah, we see Zeeb. I'm guessing Zeeb, maybe Bryce, there's, I don't know. There's too many channels, I can't really drag them in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I dragged Zeeb in. Thank All you right. for dragging me in. Yeah, no worries, Zeeb. I bet you guys are very uh, hyped right now, to say the least. Yeah, that was, yeah. Uh, that, that was a wild adventure there. Yeah, the so, call, the, the volume peaked quite a bit for like yeah. 30 straight, just about. So how does it feel um, after losing for 11 straight races and coming back the last race and finally winning the entire war? Uh, it feels super clutch, to be feels honest. Feels good. The clutch D <laughs> legend is still alive. Yeah. <laughs> what was your mindset going into race 12 with like only such a small deficit coming back? Uh, we told uh, you, you want to drag Bryson. First of all, because he needs to listen oh, yeah, to us yeah, personally. I got it. Yep, there's Bryce. Okay, so our mindset going into the last race was uh, Bryce not trusting Ribbon Road at all. <laughs> he hates it, and he says it that we sucks, always lose dude. at it because of shocks. <laughs> hey, like, I feel like compared to most other teams, we are very good at Ribbon. Uh, a lot of times we uh, lose it, and it's almost always due to a shock lap three. So, like, we had it in mind. We were minus twelve. It's like okay. I think I, I think like we don't I I don't remember if we had top spots or not. I just remember no, we had top two. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah we, had top, we had uh, yeah. we had top three throughout the most like, of the race. Okay, R ribbon We're like, like big race gone. potential. They don't get shock. I think we got it, so we went with it, and they didn't get shock, and the game plan went according. Well, there's to also one other one. Went. There's also one other factor because like <laughs> some of us are still not really confident um, trying to keep our balance on the track, so. Like, I believe mm -hmm. Twan got bumped off, so I believe that's one yeah. factor, but 
like yeah as long as we clutch it then yeah it's pretty good and yeah. also the shock doesn't appear then a lot yeah. of us have been mm -hmm. uh, a lot of us has been have been like playing together for almost an entire year now so we're pretty in sync and knowing like what tracks we all like and try to learn them if not and uh that's been one that we've had for about a year now ever since i started tting it and got obsessed with it it's like yo let's <laughs> learn this i think we can beat other people at it and it worked out uh fairly well so yeah nice job so um how do you guys feel about moving into the uh, next season now after this result uh i think we can win it uh i'm not going to guarantee anything i think we have a chance to uh win the, the division i think uh the, this term would be our evidence to claim it, I suppose. Uh, since we beat the top two seeds in the tournament, I'm not sure what Zealous is doing right now. Uh, I think that Dax retired or said he's right, retiring. Right. I don't know the scenario on that. I'm not going to talk about it too much. Uh, I think we can beat anybody. I think we can also lose. Like Clearly, we were on the ropes for a lot of that match, especially after GP1, but the sky's the limit for us. Yeah, that's Wonderful. awesome. Good stuff. Uh, the off season has been good to us, I suppose. Uh, Xander coming in, uh, he did very well in the semifinals. Did pretty well in the finals. Uh, Chibi was unable to play the finals, and we had Twong also new, newly recruited. He filled in, did a good job, enough to get the W. So feeling pretty good about things going forward. Uh, JBZZ usually uh, destroys us in our scrims, but <laughs> we are very, uh, we are very uh, ready for uh, our league matches, I suppose, and very. Uh, I guess uh, in sync with each other, take it more seriously. If that makes sense. Yeah, so. for sure. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Got so... any questions for my my guy Bryce or my guy Zeb? Yeah. So how <laughs> does it feel? Is it? All. It's got to be tiring playing two right or two wars back to back, and you guys basically played the same lineup except uh, you swapped Twonk for. Chibi. Uh, Chibi, yeah. So. Or vice versa, Chibi for Twonk. What? Like, honestly, it, did, it didn't feel that bad since I think we had a lot of momentum after the XI match. And right. we were all really alert during the match. We were calling out a ton of stuff. Yeah, and the, the, the morale was high, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even, yeah I after think that's we like minus, yeah. even after we were like minus 50 on DKJ, and then we got that like plus 32 race, I think. That, yeah, like, that was a very right? that was a very important turnout there. And um, that yeah. that gave us like a ton of hope that we would actually have a chance at winning. Yeah, just had to go through and finish strong. I gotta uh, thank my guy Zeb. Always uh, prevents me from tilting versus JBZZ. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> uh, you, you I was can count on me. Race two. To I do was that. a bit after race two. We had top two, and uh, I slowed down to horn some of them at the end, and they drove directly through directly through my horn and stole <laughs> my second place and I got fourth and I was livid. Uh he called me down. So uh yeah, didn't go I, too well after that, but you know, eventually. I think that's so important in this game too, is just not getting tilted because as soon as that happens you just make so many stupid mistakes and yeah. it's good that you guys are able to like control those emotions and even when you're down by fifty points or so you're able to kind of regather yourselves and come back with a win like that. Yeah, our uh, last final was actually like that back in um March, I think, February, I don't know, is an amplified delta. We were down like 80 in grands. And we brought it back versus Zealous only to get uh, destroyed by a last second shock that was pulled on the last set of the race. Oh, no. Uh, we're over that now, I suppose. Uh, we did bring that one back, but uh, they did perform amazingly in the first half of that. But this time, it was, this time it was similar. We weren't down as much, and no shock was pulled near the end, luckily for us. So. We were able to, yeah, uh, I was kind of scared for you guys w. there. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, it was yeah. stressful, kind of. There's one like one more comment I'd like to make uh, pertaining to the match. Like, yep. I definitely have to. I have to feel. I have to give a shout out to to JBZ for like for for like their backspam game. It's like amazing. They got they got me with so much stuff. Oh my was, god, like, they had so many bombs in you guys that were like absolutely. Yeah, I'm not, not I'm not really talking about bombs cuz I mean, you know, they they don't require much. <laughs> right. <laughs> the their green the, the their back greens and reds. Yeah. Like, they're definitely yeah, they're, of that. they're very like unorthodox, but they end up hitting you <laughs> yeah. anyways. Yeah. Yeah, they, they 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 do make it work, yeah. 
Well, they're very good at uh, discarding stuff and actually managing to hit you with it. So yeah. they don't want it. They make all the items count. I feel like it, I feel like they're very good with momentum, and the way to beat them is simply to get a rhythm going. I feel like that's how it goes with um, a lot of our scrimmages. So they're, they 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 don't make it easy on you though. They're I think in this community, uh, JBZZ is like by far the best at like establishing rhythm early. Uh, there, like, if there's like any team that's going to start off like with you like minus fifty, like in three races, <laughs> it is quite frequently them. <laughs> They're very good at holding first, protecting whoever is up there. Uh, Pyrex is a warrior in first, especially very hard to hit him, let alone get him out first. Uh, and we managed to hold him to less than a hundred, I think. Everybody was less than a hundred. Uh, yeah, MVP was 93. I guess you could say that Xander was held to less than 100 also. Uh, at that point, like we just had to like take <laughs> each individual player just had to make their opportunities count. Uh, I wish I could say I did that. I had a real lot of a uh, very uh, choky uh, play, like race nine, race 10, but it somehow worked out supposedly because of the strong last few races. Uh, we just had we just had some good races. That's what we needed to get the W. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, Shi, do you have any other questions to ask? Uh, not on the top of my mind right now. I can't really think of much else. Is there any kind of last things you guys wanted to say or any closers you wanted to say or anything like that? Uh, on a personal well, note, this those, has been... Go ahead, Z. Thank yous. Yes. Just the thank yous just about, because, yeah. Like, thank you for running it. Yeah, the, yeah. The of course. And, of course, for casting. Yep, really excited for, sure. for the next season as always. Excited for all the other tournaments to come. Uh, my Buckeyes and Bengals won. The Sealers lost. We won the tournament. <laughs> Good weekend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's all I have. Uh, nice. Okay, it's just a couple of things I think I want to mention before we end the stream. Uh, if you haven't already seen, there's a FFA coming up, I think, uh, hosted by MK Central. There's two FFAs. There's one that's on the 23rd, I think. Uh, and it's a 150cc FFA. And I think there's a 200 cc one and they're both 2v2 ffas so if you haven't looked at those go check that out and sign up for that if you want to play uh and the next thing for team tournaments i think is mku if i'm not mistaken uh there's and, MKU and amplify and there's amplify right yeah so uh keep a lookout for those but other than that i think that's pretty much us done um so yeah thank you guys for watching great job high definition for your w good try from jbzz i know that it's definitely a tough loss for you guys. Very, very close match to the end. But uh, I think that's Thank it you. for us. Yep. Happy to deliver. Thank you. Yep. Yep. See you Thanks guys. Thanks for having us yep. on. Deliver a good final awesome. match. Yep. Have a good night. Yep. See you guys. Later.